Well, the dark side of the moon that will be lit with our quest for knowledge and thirst to figure out more what exactly the southern side of the moon is really about. More importantly, what are the mysteries that lie in that part of the moon that has remained unexplored so far? Let's tell you one by one about the key things that uh, we are looking out for and more importantly, how these various maneuvers done by Chandrayaan-3 are going to play a very, very important role. Well, you already know that ha happy separation has already happened. Uh, uh, the, that separation was a critical part of that entire space expedition, which is all set to complete its journey on the 23rd of August. Now, we are looking at various other facets. The module is now on a separate journey. And these are separate journeys both the parts are going to take. The separation of the module in the orbit was very, very important. It had to happen. And also, the lander is on its most critical journey at this point in time. As the touchdown, as we look forward to that very crucial touchdown that must happen, Vikram is carrying Pragyan, which attempts the landing, which hopefully will be a very successful soft landing. This is an attempt to sell soft land on the southern side of the moon, which I said is a mystery to the space scientists and something that the entire world and the space scientists are trying to figure out. It's a series of complex maneuvers which need to be done in different gravitational situations. The speed with which uh, you know the soft landing will happen needs to be controlled with utmost precision. And as the experts have been pointing out, ISRO this time has created a backup for everything. Just in case something goes wrong, we've learned from our mistakes of Chandrayaan 2. Uh, talking more about that touchdown, the rover named Pragyan will roll off the lander uh, and this, these are crucial steps that we, that we talk as we look forward to that landing. Pragyan also explores the nearby lunar area. As for any space mission, even for this one, the clue, a crucial part would be what kind of knowledge sharing, data sharing, what kind of images can be sent in to understand what exactly the southern side of the moon is really, really about. Uh, the images that will be uh, you know, gathered, they'll be sent back to Earth. Of course, they'll be sent back to ISRO. And that's how most space missions work. That's the normal trajectory. That's, that's exactly what Chandrayaan-3 is going to do. Let's move to another set of information that we present to you through these special graphics that we are putting out. The de-boosting maneuver is equally very, very important. It's a critical step before Vikram's soft landing on the, on the southern side of the moon. And it may sound very simple, but as I said, it's a series of complex maneuvers that need to be done with utmost precision to ensure that the mission is successful. Every microsecond has been planned by the space scientists to ensure that this goes right this time. The lander to slow down to enter the elliptical orbit. This is part of the deboosting maneuver. The position's lander is closer to the moon. It positions the lander closer to the moon. And going forward, the closest point to the moon will be about 30 kilometers. That's exactly the position which we are looking out for. How exactly this process was completed, what exactly Chandrayaan-3 mission was all about, the number of days it took, the kind of budget it took, more importantly, the time, the human hours and the grit and determination of the scientists who were responsible for this project to be completed is yet another non-technical aspect which is not so much spoken about. But yes, that's the most important part of the project because uh, on the success of this mission, our hopes are dependent and for the scientists, it's the years of hard work and research that they have really done. So, as we said, the farthest point for lander to be about 100 kilometers, the closest was about 30 kilometers, and lander to undergo two orbital reduction moves. These are all part of the deboosting maneuver. For you and me, people who don't understand science or the space exploration so much, all this is a learning experience to understand about the deboosting maneuver, to understand about these critical steps which must be undertaken for any kind of soft landing to happen successfully. Let's move on. Let's tell you about another set of information that we have for you as we look forward to that big day and we talk about these maneuvers that need to be completed. India's mission moon, Chandrayaan-3. How critical, how important it is for all of us. I don't need to reiterate that. But it took a budget of over 600 crores. About 615 crore rupees was spent in this, on this mission. By the standards of the world and the kind of budget various competitive agencies, say for NASA or in Russia, have. Uh, this is not a huge budget. There, these are limited resources for space exploration. About 42 days, that's the journey. And the rover's life is about 14 days. 
and that's the distance that you can see already on your screens. That's the broad data and statistics that we can present to you as far as Chandrayaan 3 is concerned. So the facet that I was talking about, which is the human work and the human hours that have been spent to make this a reality. In the next few hours, in the next few minutes, we'll tell you more about what exactly Chandrayaan 3 mission is about, how critical the next few days are going to be, and what learnings have been really taken as far as Chandrayaan 2 and the failure of the last critical step is concerned.